I guess my overall, th everyone keeps asking me, how was the trip? You know, it's like, I don't even know how to answer that. It was great. Everything about it was great. The things we wanted to get out of it is we wanted to get better as a team. We wanted to bond as a team. We wanted to challenge them in certain ways to, I don't know, I would say to grow up or take, take responsibility themselves. And, uh, and, and then we wanted it to be fun and be an experience that they would remember. And I think on all of those, um, we accomplished what we wanted to accomplish. So it was, in that, in that case, it was successful. I enjoyed it. I thought it was great. I think every kid I talked to was had a great time. You were there, so hopefully you had a good time as well. But I, I think it was um, it was as successful as we could possibly make it. Um, so the girls had a lot of independence on the trip. How do you think they dealt with it, and do you think they grew from it in the way that you were hoping? Whether they grew from it or not, time will tell on that. I I think they um, they embraced it. I liked their their response to it. We told them there'd be some you know we said wrinkles, and. Um, I think we they were they were ready for it. So when we said, "Hey, here's what's going to happen," they they were okay. They just jumped at it. You know, I, the, it was a bummer that the one where they had to find their own train the first time um, to they were supposed to meet us in in Bologna. It was a bummer that that didn't work out like we wanted to because they ended up being on the same train. But when they went to their own cities, I thought they handled that great, and they came back with great information. And um, the the kids I talked to, they really liked it. They were on their own trying to figure that out. Um, so you've spent plenty of time in Europe, and you've been on these kinds of trips before. Kind of what set this one apart, or what was unique about it? It was unique in a college experience because it, we embraced one culture, and I felt last time we bounced around a few different countries, and I enjoyed seeing the other countries. I never, had never been to Slovenia before or Croatia, so it was fun to see those countries. But I felt like we had a better feel for Italy than we, we did. I felt like we were embraced in the culture. We saw. Even in a region, we pretty much stayed in the north, and even in that region, I feel like we saw the differences in the cities, and what, uh, even the cultural differences between Milan and Bologna and Bergamo, and um, saw some really cool stuff. And some of the kids started to get more comfortable with the language and understanding things, which I don't think you get that uh, in other experiences. But I think the thing that set this one apart was the players. There was no complaining. There was no whining. They just they embraced what it was, and it was they, they made it easy to be around them. They were good travelers, so that was fun. I've been on some groups where that's not necessarily good travelers, and that could make your experience pretty miserable. Talk about the competition that you had over there. I felt like the competition was perfect. It started out with it got better every single match, and um, you know we started out as slow as you could, and I thought at the end we were playing really well and uh, had chances against that Italian national team. Um, but you know, just couldn't get over top. They didn't make mistakes, and we did, which is what old teams do. But I thought how we played against the Italian junior national team was was excellent. And we saw players get tougher. We saw players uh, figure out what it's like to play international volleyball and um, and how good you actually have to be. And I thought the competition was perfect, and that team did a great job of setting that up. And then, anything else to add? Any stories from the trip, or sort of other thoughts? I mean, for me personally, it was cool to have family members there, you know, so that was fun to share that experience with Quinn and Maura and um, to have them spend more time with the girls. I thought that was, you're talking to the girls, they like that too. They like to see me as a dad instead of just a coach because our worlds collide, but usually they're compartmentalized and um, that was fun for me to have those two combined and, uh, you know, we, we had the McClure's and Anna was there too, so it was fun to have some kids around to show them and see their enthusiasm for it. Uh, but in general, I, I, I just, it was a great group to travel with, and um, I, it was a great group to share all this with. And um, I, I don't know, we probably could have went a couple more days and got more out of it, or got more time over there, but I'm not sure we would have gotten more out of the experience than we did. And so. Um, I'm excited to try to figure out what we're going to do next time. You know, I think last time we left the trip, we had a plan of what it would be like and a vision of what the next trip would look like, and I thought we pulled it off. Now we're already working on the next one, and I'll save that for when it comes around.